Party support the one p cut in income tax that we're all going to get in 2024? Well, I would say to you that we feel it's a very cynical move. Uh, why is it 2024? Is there any reason why that year stands out to you, Gloria? Is there an election coming in 2024? Is that why it's happening? Those are the questions that we want to ask. We obviously want to see the details of the tax cut, but I really want to know why the Chancellor, if he really supports it, didn't bring it in immediately. Why is he waiting till 2024? Is it because there's an election? Would Labour spend even more? Do you want the state to be even bigger than it currently is, Tulip Sadiq? What Labour would do, and we've said this repeatedly, is that we would have a windfall, windfall tax on oil and gas companies. You've heard yourself, they've said they have more money than they know what to do with. They've talked about how they have lots of cash to spend. Well, I can tell you one thing, my constituents who are writing to me at the moment, who are squeezed by the cost of living crisis, could do with a bit of that money. The tax that we've talked about, the windfall tax, would take off £600 of people's household energy bills. That would make a massive difference to my constituents in Hampstead and Kilburn and people around the country. What I would say to you is that the OBR has just said the cost of living crisis is the hardest to hit household incomes on record. Inflation is the highest it's been in 30 years. It's the highest it's been since I was nine years old, Gloria. So I really think the Chancellor needs to come up with something better, more comprehensive, and like Rachel said over and over again, he's got to get, get away from the Sunak land. If he comes to Hampstead and Kilburn, he will see how people are struggling with the real cost of living. It's petrol, it's food, it's about heating their homes. It's really difficult out there, and he shouldn't be sitting there politicking with people's lives.